क्या आपको भी कई सारे नेटवर्किंग इवेंट्स में जाना होता है और लोगों से कनेक्ट करना होता है बहुत बहुत ही प्रॉब्लम होती है तो ये वीडियो आपके लिए है क्योंकि इस वीडियो में मैं बताने वाला हूँ कैसे आप स्टोरी टेलिंग को यूज करके अपना नेटवर्क बिल्ड कर सकते हैं कैसे आप स्टोरी टेलिंग को बिल्ड करके एक अपना पर्सनल नेरेटिव बना सकते हैं सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड ये लास्ट मंथ की बात है मैं एक इवेंट में था एंड आई हैड नेवर मेट एनी वन इन दैट इवेंट बिफोर सो मैं वहाँ पे गया एंड आई वॉज फीलिंग लिटिल ऑकवर्ड लाइक अदर्स एंड मेरे बगल में एक देर वॉज अ लेडी फ्रॉम रोमानिया एंड वी हैड नेवर मेट एंड आई कैजुअली स्टार्टेड चेट चार्टिंग विथ हर अबाउट नो इट वॉज रेनिंग आउट साइड सो मैं रेन के बारे में बात करने लगा कि कैसे यू के में रेन कितना ज़्यादा होता है एंड देन यू हैव You have to have umbrella. अगर आप umbrella भूल गए तो क्या होता है and so on so forth. And then she started telling stories about her first time and how her coat got wet and and इस तरीके से we kept sharing stories for 10-15 minute. But you know what? After 15 minute, we felt like we have known each other for quite long time. You know, friends. This is the power of storytelling. Whether you are speaking in front of an audience, whether you are speaking to your team or your customer, or you are in a networking event, telling stories really help you. So, इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ कुछ ऐसे nuances जो use करके आप अपना storytelling networking के लिए बहुत अच्छे से improve कर सकते हैं. So, let's get started. तो जो सबसे पहली बात है when it comes to networking and storytelling and networking is You have to know the key elements. What are the key elements? क्या जरूरी है अगर आप networking events में जा रहे हैं और स्टोरी टेलिंग करने का प्लान कर रहे हैं तो आई एम गोना से दैट थ्री मेजर थिंग्स दैट हैज टू बी देयर एंड दैट हैज टू बी राइट एंड दैट इज नंबर वन ऑथेंटिसिटी अगर कोई आपसे मिल रहा है whether it is it is on stage or off stage, whether it's in the event or outside the event, whether in your city or his city or her city, that person should know that it is authentic you so the very first element jo ki networking mein bahut zyada kaam aati hai that is your authentic self you cannot fake it yeah i know fake it to make it hota hai but in this case for storytelling you don't have to fake it you have to make it real authentic second element most important similar is relatability are the people able to relate to your story is it something that they have gone through for example agar aap ek engineer hain aur aap ek aise networking event pe ja rahe hain jahan pe baaki bhi engineer hain then tell your story about your engineering journey tell the story about how you went from one firm to another engineering firm but if you are also a uh, say yoga practitioner and you are going to a yoga yoga summit or something then you talk about the journey of the yoga that you had been so it has to be relatable you cannot talk about yoga in your engineering event and similarly engineering in the yoga event and the third thing which is also related to the second one is the purpose why are you telling the story are you telling story to impress or are you telling story to express if you're telling only to impress chances are you might not be able to impress your audience but if you're telling the story to express yourself if you're telling the story to tell who you really are then people can get impressed then people will relate to you so the three elements i just repeat is number 1 relatability number 2 authenticity and number 3 what is your purpose now let's go on to how can you tailor based on different scenarios so how do you tailor your story based on different scenario first of all you should know where you are going to if you don't even know where you are going to then it doesn't make sense to tell your story because your stories are your story but for your audience so you need to know ki who is in your audience what are what are their expectation what are their dreams what are their pain points that will help you tell the narrative that will help you tell the right story so first of all know the audience know the context you cannot tell stories everywhere all the stories cannot be told everywhere so you need to know which place which audience which context that you are going to because this will help you adopt and adapt stories for that right adopt and adapt kaun si stories batana hai and you don't have to always tell your story only you can tell a story about your team member you can tell a story about your clients 
testimonials you can tell a story about you being the client and your vendors but whatever the case it has to be contextual it has to be what is it that is relevant for them right the audience is always asking the question w i i f m what's in it for me so you should be able to answer w i f m to get to their brain to get to their heart let's move on to some practical tips when it comes to storytelling that can help you so i want to give you three practical tips that can really help you number 1 is develop active listening which means that before you tell your story be ready to hear other stories a lot of time we are not even listening we are just hearing so that the person can stop and we can answer ऐसा नहीं करना है पहले दूसरे की बात सुनो पहले दूसरे की स्टोरी जानो दूसरे की जर्नी जानो तब अपनी बात करना सो द फर्स्ट टिप दैट यू मस्ट यूज इट लिसन बी एन एक्टिव लिसनर नंबर टू जब भी आप अपनी स्टोरी बता रहे हो मेक श्योर यू आर नॉट मेकिंग इट बोरिंग यू आर नॉट मेकिंग इट यूनी डायरेक्शनल यू आर नॉट मेकिंग इट एक ही टोन में एक ही पिच में एक ही एक ही सिमिलर फ्रेज बोले जा रहे हो आप यू हैव टू यूज वेराइटी यू हैव टू यूज द विजुअल इमेजनरी विजुअल इमेजनरी इमेजरी एंड इमेजनरी राइट यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर हैविंग लॉट ऑफ एनेकडोट्स बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल बहुत सारी छोटी छोटी कहानियां बड़ी बड़ी कहानियां बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्टेक्सट एंड नंबर थ्री constantly improve so agar aapne kisi ko ek story sunai and you got some verbal feedback visual feedback then incorporate that feedback in the next time that you are meeting so jab you take the feedback and keep applying that's where your stories become a compelling story so these are the three practical tips that i wanted to give so first of all be active listener number 2 use lot of imaginary anecdotes visual elements so that you are evoking their emotions and senses and number 3 is be recipient of the feedback and constantly improve let me tell you one thing very very sure as they say your network is your net worth if you are looking for better job opportunities if you are looking for partnership or collaboration if you are looking for opportunity to you know move places countries uh, job profile your networking can be a game changer and in that game changer if you incorporate storytelling it is like the icing on the cake so this is very very important that you learn and refine your personal story so that you can use that for networking so what are your key learnings from this video please write down in the comment section and agar abhi tak aapne channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai we have published over 400 plus videos on various aspect of storytelling interviews podcasts etc so go and check it out and i am looking forward to hear more and comment mein ye bhi batayega ki which aspect of storytelling would you like to learn more do you want to learn more about data storytelling do you want to learn about motivational storytelling personal storytelling networking storytelling presentation storytelling which is the kind of storytelling that you want to hear so that main us tarah ke videos aapke liye bana saku and if you want to be a part of my private community do reach out to my team and you can enroll in the silver or gold membership of confident storytelling hub so take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next video